last video, we worked on our y-axis spacer. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the stepper motor mount. This one's a little bit different than the one we used on the x-axis. Uh, the y-axis is a little bit thicker and it's the bolt it bolts up to the spacer a little bit different. But we finished up the spacer and got it mounted to the bearing block. And now we just need to do the stepper mount. So, what we want to do is you want to go to File, New Design. Uh, we want to save this as Y axis stepper mount. Okay. Then you want to open up your data panel and we want to transfer over the Y axis spacer. So, right click on it insert into current design and then we can close our data panel and you can just click right there and put it where it wants okay and again we want to come up here to the chains and right click and break the link and now we'll be able to manipulate these sketches all right let's see we need this sketch right here uh, so we want to go to sketch create sketch we want to put it on this plane right here uh, the first thing we want to do is go to sketch rectangle center point rectangle and we want it to be 101.6 and again we've got to change our units to metric I always forget to do that I draw most of my stuff up in inches it's just for these stepper mounts and stuff for the meal I like to do in millimeters okay sketch rectangle circular rectangle 101.6 by 101.6 okay and then next we want to do center rectangle once again and we want to go 50.8 by 101.6 and we want to do one more we want to go 88.9 by 38.1 Okay. All right. So we want to go up to sketch and hit point. We want to grab these four points right here for our holes locations. Okay. Got those. That's good. All right. We want to go hit C for circle. We want to go seventy three. Oops. 73.03 hit enter I'll go back hit C 31.75 hit enter ok alright we want to go to sketch rectangle I want to go 69.06, 69.06, hit enter, by 69.06, there we go, hit C, we want to put a circle here, 5 millimeters, okay, and we want to go to sketch, rectangular pattern we want to click on that circle we want a quantity of 2 um, 69.06 and we want to go this way we need 2 lm minus 69.06 enter okay 
we can get rid of our square it was just for guides all right those are to mount the motor let me turn that sketch off okay yeah I think um, I think we may have everything there all right okay we can go up stop sketch all right we want to go to modify press pull let's select everything and then we can hold down control and deselect that center circle there and we can deselect this hole this hole and these other two here let's deselect this, 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 and this there we go alright we'll go 12.7 enter alright turn our sketch back on alright go back to the front here okay now I want to right click press pull I want to grab that that this this and this okay and I want to go 11.1 that'll be a recess for our stepper mount all right now go to the back side we want to right click repeat press pull we want to select the rectangular area like so we want to move in 6.35 which is a quarter inch cut it out and select OK. All right, let's turn that sketch off. See what we have. That looks good. Okay. Next, we want to go to Create Threads, and we want to select. Hold down Control. Select these inside of these circles here. That's going to be a five millimeters thread. All right, it takes care of that. We turn that back on. And that back on. All right, let's turn this off so we can see. Okay. All right. Alright, you can kind of see. Now what we need to do is move this backwards a quarter inch. Not that one. This one. Alright. So left click, drag a window across that, right click on it, and select move. Grab this arrow. I'm going to push it back. 6.35. Now let's check it and see. All right. That looks good. All right, we'll go to the front view here. We want to turn our sketches back on. All right, so next what we want to do is these four holes here. So we want to go to create hole I want to put it right there actually we'll go to uh, single hole because we want to put it on this space right here at that point there we go
Okay, that looks good. I want to click OK. Right click. Can I modify that? I want to uh, right click, repeat hole, put it right on top there, there we go, click OK, repeat hole, OK. Repeat hole. All right. Now that's a six point three five millimeters deep, quarter inch. Uh, it's a four millimeter diameter hole and a nine millimeter diameter countersink. All right, we can turn our sketches off and see if our holes are lining up. And they look like they do. And then our stepper motor will mount to these four holes. And bearing block mounts there all right and then you can see you have access to your coupling here so you can see how it kind of mounts up there now when this saddle comes back it gives us five inches here before it gets close to the uh, stepper mount um, I think that's going to be plenty of room. I'm hoping to get about an extra one inch of travel. Uh, that will put me at about nine, ten inches maybe on the nine inches on the Y. Uh, we'll see what we can stretch it out to. So there's the Y axis ball screw stepper mount. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll be working on the Z axis. If you have any questions or any tips for Fusion 360, please comment. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and most importantly,